Today I reveal to you why this quote by John Donne is truer than ever. You see, 10 years ago, if any one of you had approached me for a conversation, I would either have ignored you or I would have spoken in monosyllables. What are the chances that you would speak with me again? Probably close to zero. And why would I behave in such a manner? Simply because that was the only way I knew how to. You see, 10 years ago, I had recently moved to New Zealand. And due to violence at home, I had to escape to a women refuge center. And when I left the refuge, when people asked me, how's life treating you? I did not have an answer for them. Basically, I had lost the art of conversation. I felt socially isolated. And so I wanted to help people who were in a similar position like me. So for my master's thesis, I went back to the refuge center that I had resided in and invited young women aged between 16 to 24 who were survivors of domestic violence to come participate in my research. I wanted to improve basic conversational skills for them so when they went out in the community, they had a better chance at social connections, a second chance at conversation. You see, even the 18th century philosophers thought conversation was the elixir of life. The black symbol on the slide is the symbol for elixir of life. And for my research, I looked at basic conversational skills, such as asking questions, disclosing positive or negative stuff about yourself, or praising your conversational partner. And how did I improve their conversational skills? I used a behavioral intervention called video self-modeling. Now in video self-modeling, all you do is watch yourself on a video, performing a skill successfully that you were unable to do so before. In other words, your future self. The rationale behind video self-modeling is that it increases your self-efficacy, or your belief that now you can perform that skill, obviously given it is attainable. For example, all the participants in my research ask very few questions at the beginning of the study. So when I was making a video, I asked them a lot of questions. And then I prompted them to ask me questions. Using an editing software, I removed all my instructions. The end result? Well, let's just say that when they were watching the video, all they saw was how flawlessly they were asking questions and how many of those questions they were asking. All they had to do was watch those videos two to three times on their cell phones or on their laptops, and they started asking a lot more questions. Now, these were just one of the four basic conversational skills that improved using video self-modeling. I'm excited about the results of this study because this means we may have a positive cost and time effective intervention on our hands that we can use to implement and bring these women back into the mainstream community. Yes, we can. Thank you.